In any nuclear power plant, we must take great precautions to protect the people from radiation. You can readily understand this when I tell you that when we make one kilowatt of power in a nuclear power plant, we generate the equivalent of 100 pounds of radium. And today in the whole world, there are only five pounds of real radium. I will now show you how the nuclear power plant of the Nautilus works. Here is the reactor in which is contained uranium and which heats up water. The reactor is controlled by control rods which can move in and out. The water that goes through the reactor comes through this pipe into the boiler and back again and keeps on circulating. On the other side of the tubes to which the first water passes is, another set of wa is other water which is turned into steam. This steam comes into the turbine, turns it around. The turbine then drives the propeller shaft, which in turn makes the propeller move and causes the ship to go at more than 20 knots submerged. Here's the turbine throttle. And I'll show you what happens when we start up the turbine. Watch the control rods come out. The, uh, the lights are off again. <coughs> this is a turbine throttle. When I open the thir turbine throttle, the control rods of the reactor move out. Now you just watch them moving out. And as they move out, the reaction starts, as you can see by the lights. No lights again. As the control rods moved out, the water started in flowing through the reactor. The water came here through the boiler and back again into the reactor. Water on the other side of the boiler tubes was changed to steam and came this way through the turbine, round and round. The turbine turned, turned the propeller shaft, which in turn moved the propeller, enabling the submarine to make more than 20 knots submerged. To stop the reaction, I close the turbine throttle. Watch the control rods go down, which shuts off the reactor and stops the flow of water in the, in the reactor. Is that all right?